Yes, hello, I'm back in the game. Don't know if I'm doing a part two or not. But yeah, uh, turns out I just had a bug. I almost left the demo. Uh, anyways, yeah. Head into the bathroom. Can't believe I fell for a bug. I can't. End. I should make my bed first or nurses will scold me. What happened? What was that? I don't know. I missed it. The door was opened. Watching me outside of room. Wait, really? It wasn't just an annoying nurse. Definitely not. I guess apparently. I wonder if it could have been the ghost of the asylum. Have you seen him before? I've woken up in the middle of the night. With him hovering over me. That's really freaky. I've heard rumors he'll kill you if you upset him. But he's just a ghost. So what can he really do? Good enough. Regardless. There's not much we can do about it since the nurses here don't care. So let's just focus on breakfast for now. Like you brats will meet another kid soon. Ugh. The way they suck to us makes me so mad. I want to go over there and pulver stupid hair. I couldn't agree with you more. The hair is hideous. What nerd and ill kid will be? I feel sorry whenever someone else joins us. You kid! 
kids, finish up. Chores start soon. Listen up. These are your chores for this morning. You must complete them before your treatments begin. Pick up garbage in yard and clean front porch. I expect you to work as a team to complete these tasks, as you are all well aware cleaning cleanliness is a virtue. As such, your ability to clean properly is a critical part of your overall wellness exam. If you continue to do your jobs well, it's a sign that your mental defects are being treated. However, slowly that may be. Well, Enough talk now. If you want any chance of returning to whatever homes you have, you better get busy and do a thorough job! Don't forget that we are always keeping an eye on you sloppy brats! I see why there's no timer. Why is there just clocks? Oh, got some cigarettes. Probably from the nurses. Everything's from the nurses, probably. Uh, what is this? Some bell hat? Hot? I don't know. I think I picked up two clocks. Oh gosh. That was a plate right here. Cigarettes? Cigarette? Just had to say it. The saying was there. I someone needed to do it. Well, I was here to do it. Ah, uh, there are copies. Why don't you pick them up, you lazy bums? At least I'm assuming bum is not an offensive word or something, I don't know, I'm sorry. What's a word that means lazy? I don't know. Broken plates? What could this come from? No one gone outside to eat. In fact, there's not even any plates actually, so it's the nurses. Oh no, I don't want to get in trouble. Despite that there might be trash over there. So where's this final trash? It's wherever Twisty is at. Twisty and the uh, other kid I forgot the name of. There they are. What are you both doing? It's right here. It's a broken flight.
What's up with that mask? I guess that one guy, demonic looking guy, isn't the villain? I suppose I certainly can't expect perfection from the likes of you four. Mr. Bennett, we have noticed you have improved somewhat since your stay here. Keep it up and you be able to go home. Which one, which one of us are you talking to? Oh, please, obviously, I mean the functional one out of you two. That little monster can't even speak. He will never leave. You don't even understand what I'm saying, do you? Cell now! Uh, how dare you throw this disgusting dirt water all over me! So functional, eh? Serves you right! You're coming with me right this second! You disgraceful brat! I'll make sure you never see your homes again! I can't believe he did that. Tommy, you're lucky to have an older brother like him. Deserved it. 
Yep, she did. I hope it got into her mouth. But now, Edward's exam scores will be sent back. He did that just so he wouldn't be forced to leave Tommy alone. It's okay, Tommy. Edward would rather stay with you than leave you all alone. I know it's bad we are all stuck here, but at least we all have each other, right? Really, nothing wrong with you. Are you sure about that? Um, seeing imaginable characters? Duh. Is that a knife? Cool. Yeah, yeah. Let's get started. from the dead, are we? How are we feeling today? It sure does keep me calm, I guess. Lovely news indeed. Maybe you'll be leaving us soon after all. We'll miss having... We'll miss having your cute little face around when that happens. Time for lunch now. the lunch room yet I go in here for breakfast and dinner what is this Mr. Rivers how nice to finally speak with you who are you I am Dr. Robert Fig I arrived here somewhat recently to conduct some research you know me of course. Of course I know you, boy. Why, you're the very apple of half boys I as of late. Okay then, I didn't realize. Of course, of course. I hear your condition is quite, uh, shall I say, fascinating. Subject. Subject. Who's that mysterious man? Why is he there? Why was he staring at me like that? Oh, that might be a... I don't know. I very much look forward to speaking with you in the near future. Until then, my boy.
I'd like to introduce myself as well. My name, my name's Boris Frenzy. I usually serve as an assistant to the doctors here. So I know how rough they can be. Sometimes I think the staff forgets we are supposed to be helping children here, not imprisoning them. If the doctor or anyone else gives you trouble, you can come to me. you can come to me. I appreciate the offer. It was nice meeting you, Anthony. I hope to see you around. That one's gonna end soon, I just know it. Looks like you attracted the attention of one of the doctors. I'd watch out if I were you, Anthony. I don't understand. What do you mean? Strange things happen to those who are near the doctors here. I heard that sometimes the kids die, or they disappear, never to be seen again. Yeah, it's probably you and the others. That's the plot twist. So say I, when I said bye. It's true. Please be careful and try to lay low. Well, I have to stay by your side so you don't have the chance of ending up alone with him. Thanks for looking out for me, guys. If you need to go somewhere, just let me know. I'll stick by you. Will do. Free time, I'll head back to my room for now. This is from Annabelle. He handed you a letter. What's that about? News Annabelle. I need to use the letter opener on my bed to read this. Then maybe the demo will end. Dear Anthony Rivers, meet me tonight in the shed outside the asylum. I will never risk us getting into this much trouble if it. It wasn't really important, so please be there. I'll see you there just past 9pm. Be careful you don't get caught. Annabella Walker. What does Annabella want to me? Is she the one who wanted, wanted me there in Charles earlier? Hey, Anthony. Fred and Nurse was a big, huge shirk. Me too. I'm gonna paint a picture of that nurse falling off a cliff. I don't want to disturb his beauty sleep. Nicola's busy reading. 
I shouldn't interrupt him. Do I go now? Hey, Anthony. What were you reading earlier? You seem nervous. I got an odd letter from a girl named Annabella. Annabelle? She's one of the patients at this asylum. She's been here for a long time, too. We're not allowed to talk to the girls here. Make sure you don't do anything to get in trouble. Ugh! Would you two keep it down? How am I supposed to sleep with all your talking? It's almost time for lessons already. Uh oh. Paolo's right. Classes are starting now. Let's get to the classroom upstairs. Quick. Listen, everyone. Today's today's lesson will be on mathematics. I will be giving you a series of questions, and I expect you to answer them quickly. We have a lot to cover and can't afford to fall behind schedule. We will begin today's lesson by testing your counting skills. Uh, sorry. I will draw a number of apples on the board and I want you to tell me how many there are. Understand? Yes, Mom. Good. Let's begin. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Correct. Next, we'll be focusing on the geometry. I will draw a shape on the board, then I want you to tell me the name of that shape. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Go on. Let's begin. What? Oh, I thought it was a pentagon! No, pentagon's five! Oh, that's a hexagon. Correct. Now it's time to take a look at some equations. Why well, am I the only one doing these? I will write an equation on the board. Then I want you to solve it and tell me the answer. Understand? Understood. Good, let's begin. 4 plus, that's 16, so it's 14. Correct! We are now on to the last part of our lesson. What's the lesson? <laughs> I am going to ask you to solve another equation. This one is so simple, I won't even bother explaining it. Ready? Yes. It's so easy, there should be no reason to worry if you've been paying attention. Let's begin. Rats wouldn't know the answer. 
that concludes our lesson for today. Dinner starts soon, and I'm not about to miss it. So scram already. Class is now dismissed. I'll see you tomorrow for our next lesson, where I insult you. She thinks she's so clever, pulling out those trick questions. Doesn't it ever get old? It sure is annoying. Anyway, it's almost time for dinner. We should head to the lunchroom. Mathematics is terrible for your skin. Okay. Are you hungry, Tommy? Set ourselves for dinner. Tommy's hungry. Let's all go get dinner. To the lunchroom of power. Sorry, I can't help it. Just had to say something stupid. During dinner that night, all I could think of was if I should risk everything to talk to Annabella. An impending sense of dread and anxiety caught through me as Nicola's advice played through my head over and over again. I would come to find out that very night that our lives would be in danger. Ha ha! I knew! I've seen it all! Tony with Annabella should bring the candle behind my bed. It's dark. What are you doing? Everyone tried to warn you. I won't stop you, but I hope you know what you're doing. She's at a mean shed outside. I need to be careful about once.
just halfway through, and I still got 30 minutes. <sighs> I don't like when the OBS mic whatever thing turns off. Okay, well, I just need to, um, yeah, just need to revoice lines. I'm not going to bother with much of anything else. Starting the editor play so I can get to the chat. If I'm doing this right, I should be in the shed. About to click on Annabelle. Hi, Pookie. Staring at you. I know I said something, but I don't remember what I said. And I'll never know. Hi, Anthony. I am glad you could make it. Are you Annabelle? Yes. I am Annabelle. It's nice to meet you. Nice to officially meet you. Nice to meet you too. And this is my imaginary friend. Pookie! He's my best friend. Hello, Anthony. Why did you name him Pookie? Pookie used to look different, but when we moved here, he changed. He said he wanted to look more intim intimidating to protect me. Pookie's always looking out for me. Anyway. I'm sorry for asking you to risk so much coming here, but it's our best chance to avoid getting caught, despite it being really risky. Yeah, my candle definitely didn't review our location by now. The truth is, I overheard the staff say a new doctor arrived and that he's interested in y you for some reason. I wonder why. I'm not sure what the doctor wants with you, but I'm worried it might be something really bad. Have you heard of the ghost of the asylum? I have. Well, the ghost becomes most active whenever something horrible's about to happen. Is he active right now? Ever since that doctor arrived, Rumor has it, the ghost started appearing again. Whew. And I didn't get to see him. Not even editing could I see him, it's just a blur. Uh, if the rumors are true, that doctor might be planning something horrible for you. Usually, when the Doctors get their hands on you. Here, you are never seen again. Not a way to relax me, Pookie. That really horrifies me. That's why I wanted to warn you. I'm gonna do some investigating of my own. I want to know what this ghost is all about. Alright, well, you can figure it out. In the meantime, do anything you can to stay away from that doctor. I'll try my best. In reality, I'm going to do nothing about it, but 
I'll do my best. And I felt like you deserved to at least be prepared for the worst if it comes down to it. Oh, I thought you were going to offer a kiss. That's crazy. <laughs> of course, to the character I'm playing as, with thank you. Sorry. I know I'd want to know if it were me. Thank you. We should leave, Annabelle. It's getting late. It's already late? What do you mean? Pookie's right. <gasps> it's late! Well, <laughs> Head back safely, Anthony. We'll go first, so you can make a run for it if we get caught. And here's a part where I leave to go back to editing. First, I have to get this voice clip stuff. And then I will speak again the next time characters chat. Not the nurses outside. I'm not going to say their lines, so. Um... Yep, see you shortly. Starting around the door entrance, and I'm ready to voice some lines. Yep, there's Polo, he told on me. <laughs> what are you- what are you doing out here? I told you to be careful. Sorry, Niccolo, but something's wrong. Wait, what's the matter? I don't feel like that sort of wording is right. <laughs> What are you two doing awake at this hour? Go back to sleep now! You two are in for a world of trouble tomorrow! That night, Niccolo, Polo, and I returned to our room. Tommy and Smudge were already awake from the nurse's yelling. I told them everything that Annabelle shared, and we stayed up late into the night, discussing um, the secrets of the nurses or something like that. I don't know, but there's more lines, so I'm gonna continue recording this bit. Hey. I'm sorry for being upset with you last night. Looks like I ended up getting us both in trouble. That's alright. Never mind. It's okay. <laughs> sorry. I get no uh, choosing beforehand, huh? Anyway, I guess we should get ready and face our punishment today. 
I wonder what today will bring. How about a bunch of fabulous stuff or something? I don't know. Should I continue recording? Probably, because I think I might chat with... Never mind, I don't chat with Smudge. So I guess I'll be back later. See ya! Enjoy the bathroom. About to sit at the table, you know, to get a reference for myself. And oh no, no food! That's so bad. You there, Mr. Rivers and Mr. Gallo. We don't believe you two deserved to eat breakfast today. Ungrateful attitudes and misbehaving are not tolerated here. You both can start chores early and clean the main bathroom by yourselves today. What are you waiting around for? You best get started quickly. I expect it to be spotless if you want to earn lunch. Maybe we should take a page out of Edward's book and throw dirty water on them, too. Ugh! The bathroom! Sorry, but I won't be helping you clean this time. Fine. I'll meet you there, Anthony. There's still some more dialogue, so I'm going to wait. Uh, upstairs, yeah, I know that, but I'm going to get a little confused when I get up there. Because I don't know, I thought it was somewhere else. Just you wait. There I am, looking at the other side of the place. <laughs> the last place I look at. <laughs> now, there's no... Nothing... <sighs> Why can't we clean both the bathrooms? There's two of them. It's a massive scam. Hey, Anthony. I'm gonna start with cleaning the sinks and mirrors. It looks like the floor, toilets, and bathtubs also need to be cleaned. Great. And you just pick the two least dirtiest stuff. And least disgusting. There's cleaning supplies we can use at the end of the stalls. Let's get this stupid punishment over with. And you're gonna punish me more by making me do all the more dirt and you're making me clean poop. Feces if that's a thing around here. Uh, I don't really know if he... Why not? It's the same thing as poop, I think. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna leave this section for you all. So, uh, yep.
Okay, started. This last stall is all that's left, but it's locked. Hey, is someone in there? Hello? Hey. So, you're the ones making all the racket. We came in here to be alone, you know. Sorry. Did it... Sorry. Didn't mean to disturb you. Yeah. I hate this bathroom. If I wasn't forced to, I would never have come in here. Arg! That's so. I haven't seen you before. What's your name? Me name's Marco! And m m my name's Pete Gustavo. I just arrived here this morning. morning. I'm sorry that I delayed your cleaning. I came here to be alone. Because I'm, well, I'm really upset. <laughs> My mom tricked me. She said we'd be going on vacation together. But she just abandoned me here instead. <laughs> now, see here, you belligerents. If ye make Petey cry, I will have to make you pay. No, Michael. It's okay. They didn't do anything. It's all Mom's fault. Not theirs. And I'm not crying. Anyway. Sorry for the worst and Ever. I hope we can still get along. Well, what are your names? Yeah, that was pretty bad. My name's Niccolo. My name's Anthony. Nice to meet you, Pete. I wish I could say it's nice to meet you guys, but came out wrong. I, I mean, you seem like you'd be great friends, but yeah, the situation isn't great. I'm not exactly happy you're here either. Sorry, he's blunt. He means he feels bad for you. Choose it! What am I doing? No! I appreciate- Wait a second, I just realized you guys can see Marco too? A little slow on the uptake, huh? This guy's pretty rude. Why is he rude all of a sudden? You need to stop your rudeness. Lots of us have imaginary friends. Except for Anthony, which is very suspicious, but he can still see ours somehow. Oi! Watch him, matey! I won't stand to see you slander me, Petey! What? <laughs> slander? <laughs> Marco, quit being embarrassing, will you? <laughs> Any 
way. Guess I'll leave now so you guys can actually clean the toilet. By the way, the poop stains aren't from me. Those were already here when I got here. Just wanted to clarify that. Bye now! Hey, Nikolai, what, what about you do the toilet this time? What a little weirdo. I like him. Anyway, let's finish up here. You mean I finish up here. You! That's <laughs> <It's> suspicious. <laughs> I don't know, the toilet looks the same to me, so... I actually don't know when the next time the voice lines appear, so I may have to keep recording until, uh... Oh, whoop! Well, here it goes. Hey, it's the nurse. She's not even going to check the toilets. She's only checking the bathtubs and the mirrors. <laughs> you kids actually cleaned up well in here. I suppose you've earned lunch today. Run along now. It's time to begin our daily schedule. This place doesn't resolve, revolve around you two. Are you sure about that? Uh, are you sure? Everything seems to be revolving around Anthony. Well, that was atrocious. See you later. Yep. Get my treatment. So this is the part where I stay. Because gosh dang it, do I need to stay for this. <laughs> More lines. Alright. Well, the video is almost over. But I'm afraid the next... Oh, well, here he is. Look who it is. Just the boy I wanted to see. My boy. You look as though you have seen a ghost. Light it up, Chapo. <laughs> if I may, Dr. Fig, I believe you're making our patient here a little uncomfortable. Oh, Boris, you always assume the worst of everything. We're just having a bit of fun. Aren't we, Anthony? <laughs> no, 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 that one. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I suppose you're right. When I was a mere boy, I too was afraid of the doctor. Doctor Who. <laughs> when you're a child, you should be afraid of doctors. Ahem. We ought to stick to schedule, Doctor. Hmm? Indeed. Anthony, Bob. Boy, I just wanted to observe you as they perform the treatment today. I'm sorry, my nose is starting to act up. <sighs> Carry on, ladies. Pretend that I am not even here. Fine. Lay down, Anthony. Now, give me your arm. Yes, give her your arm, Anthony. Thank you for allowing me to add my new 
ingredient to his treatment, Nurse Jones. It will cause quite the hallucinations. <laughs> oh, that's when the video ends. Well, extra time. Wouldn't want to waste any more. Bye and have a fun time. See you in the next one.